First of all, appreciate everybody coming out today. Uh, you know, I sound like a broken record, disappointing. We were close, uh, but didn't get it done. Really started off poorly and dug ourselves a hole and then, you know, uh, came back and, and had an opportunity to win it and, uh, you know, uh, just didn't just didn't quite get it done, you know. And I was talking to the guys today. We're a couple plays from being 3-0 and and feeling really good about ourselves, but that's not the reality. The reality right now is we're 1-2 and two and playing a great football team uh, this weekend at their place. So we've got to focus in at the, the job at, at hand here, and that's Ohio State. Anybody have any questions? Well, you know, the, the tough part is, you know, it's a, uh, everybody's got a hand in it. You know, we're, there's some times we're providing really good protection and there's some times we're not. And that's not just the offensive line. Sometimes we have the tight ends in on protection and uh, the running backs and, uh, you know, and, and everybody's got to be firm in that protection. Certainly when we're, we're doing a, a, you know, a seven-man protection, we ought to be in pretty good shape with, or an eight-man protection sometimes. We ought to be in, have very good protection, but uh, and then sometimes we're not accurate throwing the ball, and sometimes we're we're getting flushed out, and sometimes there's not pressure. So, uh, you know, for us, we've got to be able to run the ball effectively, and when we do that, it, you know, they can't pin their ears back and come after you, and, and uh, they got to play gap sign a little more lateral, and and we haven't run, didn't run the ball effectively enough uh, throughout the game the other day to to make them do that. Yeah. This week, this opponent, where you're playing, all the noise about their coach coming back, is it more of a challenge to get your team to focus the way you want to? Oh, I don't, I don't think so. I, you know, I think the, the main thing is we, we just got to, you know, worry about us, you know, and, and uh, you know, as I said, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I told the guys at practice, we're, we're 3-0, and you know, right now, I wouldn't be having to motivate anybody, you know, but right now we're, we're having to push the right buttons and, uh, and that's with a few guys, not 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 all of them. There's some guys ready to go every single day. You interviewed a couple of them here in the last few minutes. So, uh, you know, we, we we've got to you know turn the page. You got you got to do that during the season, and and uh, you know, that's something that's uh, very important that you got to do uh, during a football year. You got to move on. I, I, like you heard me say last week, and I say it all the time. You know, you you sit and you. You uh, celebrate uh, past successes, and uh, you're not fully concentrated on the next opponent. You, you sit there and you feel bad about an outcome. You're, you're not fully concentrating on the next opponent. So that's what we're wanting to do. You know, you know, we, we we always would play at least a couple of these games when I was uh, coaching at Sam Houston each year. And, our guys seem to really enjoy it and like it, you know, and and, uh, and I'm, I'm sure our guys will uh, uh, enjoy the atmosphere. And uh, heck, I'm looking forward to it. It's a big venue. You've always heard a lot about playing in the horseshoe and all those kind of things. And uh, so, uh, you know, yeah, you got to soak it in for a little bit, and then it's kind of over, and you play between the white lines. It's We do it uh, every week. You know, we kind of did some crowd noise today, and we'll crank it up a little bit more just to have the guys concentrate on communication and hand gestures and all those kind of things. The fact that, that their coach is coming back, do you think that has any real I don't. I, I have no idea. None of my business. I don't, I don't know. Oh, you know, we'd like to be somewhere around 60-40, you know, run to pass, 50-50, you know, run to pass. Uh, you know, but sometimes the game doesn't allow you to do that, you know, and, and uh, 
they, they took away a lot of things last week. And, and uh, we had a tough time, you know, getting off the line of scrimmage sometimes and some of our routes and, and uh, uh, you know, and then being one guy short and blocking. And, uh, you know, so if they're packing the box, you know, it just – there's not very many teams out there that are still good enough to run the football. You know, you got to be able to throw the football. If they're they're sitting back playing zone and, and they're they're rushing three, you got to be able to run it. You know, so you you, you got to do a good job of being able to do both. There's there's very few teams that can do one or the other and do that exclusively. When they have packed the box, do you feel like right now you're further ahead in your running game or more effective in your running game? Uh. You know, after last week, no. But, uh, you know, we uh, uh, we, we got to do a good job of, uh, of being able to, uh, you know, get bodies on bodies. And then, you know, they, they, when they draw up the defense, there's there's one extra guy there. And you got to make somebody miss or get somebody out of position by, you know, what you're doing uh, as far as uh, action in the backfield or the quarterbacks or whatever. And, you know, sometimes, you know, some of our best plays this year have been uh, – they just didn't fit it right. You know, that's something else. That's something that happened to us last week. They're running a lot of counter sweep and they're pulling two guys and they're kicking a guy out and bringing a guy around and we didn't fit it up right. You know, it, it provides two more gaps that you got to defend. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you just got to fit it up right and, 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 and sometimes that allows for big plays for us offensively and allows some big plays for them last week offensively because we didn't fit it up right. Well, you know, we, we've talked an awful lot about that, and he knows, you know, when he gets into pressure situations, uh, if he's going to run it, he's got to be decisive. And, uh, and, and if he, when he does that, he, he really does a good job running the football. But there's times where they got you. And just live and fight another day and get down and, and don't try to, you know, keep the ball out there wide and flinging it and those kind of different things. Uh, uh, you know, we talked about it a little bit the other day after the game. It was a... You know, fourth and seven is, is right on the edge of going for it for us analytically. We went for it, you know, but if we throw it away or we, or we take the sack, you know, we, we get to see if they can drive it down the field. And, uh, you know, he's, he's made some big plays doing that, you know, but you just got to cut your losses sometimes, you know, and, and, uh, and we got to do a better job. You know, we protect it better and we get somebody who gets off press. He can throw the football too and he didn't get in that predicament. Yeah, I think sometimes when you go back and it doesn't look good, shoot, find an opening, go. You know, when, when he when he decides and takes off running, that's a great run play for us. He, he really he uh, runs with a lot of power and he's got good change of direction and crosses a lot of people's face and makes them lose leverage. It doesn't hurt us when he does that at all. Yeah, you, you got to do it. Uh, they were really letting them play out in the perimeter, and they're going to let us let them play on the perimeter this week too. Uh, so we we got to be able to do it. You know, if they're playing man to man on you, and, you know, you got to be able to beat it. And uh, and particularly, you know, to have a chance to throw the route, you got to beat press pretty quick. So we got to do that. Well, you know, those, those, those plays, you know, are not scripted. You know, it doesn't, they, they, they happen, you know, and, and uh, you know, sometimes you overcoach a guy and, hey, let the, let, let the route develop, you know, and he holds on the ball a little bit longer and he might see an opening and, you know, they're, they're uh, plays that you got to react to very quickly. And, and uh, but you can't live and, and die on that. That's, that's just something that happens two, three times a game. You know, like late in the ball game, you did a good job a couple of times of taking off and, and making big plays for us. So, uh, you know, it's just uh, like I've said many times before, the quarterback, it's uh, too much blame and too much credit when things don't go right offensively.